Judy Maggio grew up in Houston, Texas, and arrived at the University of Texas to study journalism in 1978. Judy has been proud to call Austin home for the past 34 years. Well, actually, I've known Judy since, gosh, 1982. Liz, my wife, was working at Channel 24. She was the weekend anchor and a reporter there, and Judy Maggio uh, showed up as an intern. So this was 1982. 182, 83 time frame. Well, I met Judy Maggio back in 1993 at KVU. I was a rookie reporter, really green, nervous, and she was just a steady rock for me. And of course, I've known Judy for forever because who doesn't know about Judy in the state of Texas because she's so awesome. The first time I met Judy was at some sort of jazzercise event. It was a fundraiser. She was wearing uh, leotards and uh, I think one of those Olivia Newton John headbands. I'm a sucker for anything Olivia Newton-John-esque, so of course uh, I was in instantly smitten. She was hired as an entry-level reporter at KVU TV in November 1981. This is Judy Maggio reporting live from the Williamson County Sheriff's Office. And was later promoted to the nightly news anchor spot in 1986. If you look at early video of her, uh, she has a, a thick Houstonian accent and uh, she's managed to lose that uh, over the years. In 2003, she accepted an anchor managing editor position at KITV, and it's where you've been seeing her weeknights at 5, 6, and 10. And Judy walked in, and she was uh, exactly what Judy is every time she walks into the room. She's a picture of class, elegance, intelligence, and a, and a bundle of energy to where she came in and just uh, introduced herself, and it was, you instantly knew Judy Maggio, I think, any, the first time you meet her. Judy has dedicated her life to this town. You know you have an amazing anchor when you walk into the newsroom and there's a presence about them. Judy's leadership in this newsroom is like no other, and that comes from her passion about Austin. With 34 years' experience delivering the news in Austin, Judy Maggio is one of the most familiar faces on television in Central Texas. She was voted best news anchor in Austin for many years in a row by Austin Chronicle readers. She has also been honored as Austin Communicator of the Year, Austin Toastmaster of the Year, and has received numerous awards for excellence in journalism. The only way she could do that is by being a voice you trust. And what better place to be a voice you trust than in the home of Walter Cronkite? She started in Austin back in the early 80s uh, and has been here ever since. So what we had in her was someone that had watched this town uh, and, and paid great attention to it all those years. Judy has always been the, the go-to person in this town. Just so much experience wrapped up in, in, in that person. I mean, she's been on every big story. She was here during the big environmental stories of SOS and Save Our Springs and the, and the uh, Salamander fight. She's been here to interview presidents. She was here when Bush was governor and when he was president. She has seen it all in Austin. There are very few anchors in the TV business that spend 30 plus years in one market. It's a testament to her ability, it's a testament to her love of the city. An admitted political junkie, Judy counts her coverage of three presidential inaugurations and four national political conventions among the highlights of her career. She has done lengthy interviews with some of the nation's most prestigious television journalists, including Walter Cronkite, Katie Couric, and Peter Jennings. Two of her favorite profiles were on the late Lady Bird Johnson and singer Willie Nelson. I do remember Judy getting on the bus with Willie one day, and um, and there may have been some things happening on the bus that didn't appear on the news. I don't know if Judy was part of those, but uh, she was pretty discreet with the camera and Willie. And um, I suspect that even not on the news, Judy will always be welcome on Willie's bus. That's, that's pretty much the Austin Hall of Fame. Uh, I was asking her a, a question, and uh, she uh, she said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm just not very good at telling stories. and. I said, well, good thing you don't do that for a living. I'm about 5'7", and Judy, near as I can tell, is about 6'7". And we were working on the rail campaign, and the photographer that came with Judy wanted to do a, a shot of us walking along. And it looks as though I'm exactly as tall as Judy Maggio. If you pull back from it, what you would see is that I was walking on the curb, she was off the curb, and she had her shoes off. We'll be in a break and we'll talk about a story and she'll say, can you believe that? Or I can't believe that happened here and that shouldn't have happened. And then we're getting a countdown. 10, 
and then she, she's going. She's keeping, she's, she's talking. There's that moment when Judy walks into the newsroom and it's usually around two o'clock in the afternoon and you kind of know it. And it actually even <laughs> happened today where you just hear the laugh, you hear the presence and you go, oh, Judy's here. It's uplifting. Five, four, and another thing, stand by. And she's like rock solid, she nails it. She is married to Meals on Wheels communication director, Thad Rosenfeld. She has a daughter, Carly, and a stepdaughter, Stephanie. They also own a dog named Duncan and a cat named Winnie. Judy is also a big fan of the local live music scene in Austin. She and her husband go out on the town as often as possible to hear their favorite groups. And so I guess it's natural that uh, one of the things that she enjoys doing and, and I enjoy doing with her is uh, experiencing all the live music uh, that Austin has to offer. Once she's off the air, she's comfortable in t-shirts, jeans, and uh, flip-flops. I, I think that if she had her way, she would uh, live that way 24-7. A community advocate, Judy gives her time to many different nonprofits. She is a volunteer for Meals on Wheels and more in Austin. She also enjoys singing at nursing homes, reading to children, speaking at schools, and emceeing charity fundraisers. Probably her favorite way to give back uh, involves one of her great loves, which is singing, and that's uh, singing at uh, nursing homes around uh, the uh, Austin area. She would often come in with a bounce in her step, and I quickly realized those were the days she was out singing. Uh, she's somebody that at any point in time any group could call on and she would be available for them. And will, I'm sure, be probably more involved now personally than she ever was. So, you know, broadcast loss is uh, the gain of the community in some ways. Judy's heart is unbelievable and Judy's going to keep giving to this community for decades to come. Congratulations on your Trailblazer Award and as our mutual friend Sammy Allred would say, I love you that much, don't you ever die. Congratulations, Judy, on being a Trailblazer Award winner. Uh, it's nice to see other people know what we already knew. You're a star in this business, thank you. Uh, we've been friends a long time, and I have admired your work all of those years. I've watched you not only become a leader in our community, but someone who has broken barriers and, as this award is appropriately called, been a trailblazer. Congratulations, Judy, on the Trailblazer Award. It is well-deserved, and uh, you are blazing the trail for a lot of great TV journalists and other journalists to follow in your path, and uh, lots of great women journalists, and um, you should be very proud. I know we all are. Congratulations, Judy, on this award. Your impact goes far beyond Austin. You have been such a mentor to many young journalists that are so successful today, and you will continue to have an impact on the industry just because of who you are and the way you carry yourself, and you are a person to look up to. So congratulations on this Trailblazer Award, and I wish you the best of luck. Judy, congratulations on your Trailblazer Award. You are a trailblazer. I will miss you like crazy, and you deserve this award. Thank you for everything that you've given Austin in your career. We look forward to what you're gonna do next. I just wanna congratulate my best friend for winning the Trailblazer Award. I cannot think of a more deserving person to win this prestigious award. Uh, it is the perfect cap to an amazing 30 plus year career, uh, telling stories, delivering the news in the best way possible to the folks of Central Texas. I love you and I couldn't be more proud of you. Hi mom, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You really deserve this and I wish that I could be there to celebrate with you right now, but we'll celebrate when you come visit me in Scotland. Um, I love you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations Judy Maggio on winning the 2014 AWM Trailblazer Award. up this morning looking for my shoes look behind the trunk found the hesitation blues lordy tell me how long lordy tell me how long will i have to wait will i have to wait can i get you now can i get you now must i hesitate